<laughs> We're back. We're back. We are back. And uh, I just shoved a piece of cake down my throat. All the players know that, but I'm just letting everybody catching them up as to what was going on. Don't look at me. <laughs> we almost all died. It was fun. I fun. almost died on cake, and everybody yeah, witnessed. We it. almost all died in a DM celebrating by eating cake. Mm-hmm. I think he's celebrating the fact we didn't die, and that the monster can continue. <laughs> <laughs> the torture may continue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, yeah, we was uh, died, and I got a new sword. That's right, you have a new sword, and you're now attuned to Bar Ethel, and now it actually does bonus damage against fiends and undead. Uh, what I'm going to do, it'll, if someone's going to go with me, I'm going to go through this door to the hallway, because I'm assuming that's what it does. No. Put okay. Your, put yourself back at the door. Um, before I go for the door, I'm going to hold the sword up and touch it to the door to see if it glows. Uh, that's a good question. Let's see. By the power of Grace, go. One inch of metal. I was gonna make that reference. Start it, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The fight. You go in. Hmm. You see a couple of sarcophagus standing up against the wall on either side. That's never a good sign. For you or for derelicts? For derelicts. <laughs> for any of us. Seeing that derelicts has opened the door, Hormia would follow to see what he's up to. Uh, derelicts is... Um, actually, that's an interesting thought. Derelicts is going to stab through each of the sarcophagus with his uh, new sword. Sarcophagi. All right, so you're gonna pry each each sarcophagus open with the sword. Uh, yeah. What? I threw the lid into the sarcophagus. Oh, okay. You're gonna to try to stab through. That my dull sword. What are they? Know? What are they made of? Aren't they made of stone? Oh, good question. They're made of stone. Uh, you're gonna to have to. I guess, open. It, would, I, I guess it would depend on what age and uh, like, because different areas did different things. But usually, yeah, it was made of stone or wood. I'm going to say these are made of stone. Okay. Okay. So you can't make it easy. Yeah. yeah, You're going to have to open them. I'm going to hold the sword up to next to them and see if it glows. Which one? Okay. Which one are you holding up to? I think I'll do this one first. Okay. Uh, There's no glow. There's a halfling inside. I'm going to open it up, find a halfling, and uh, run back in and point to Fro and go, murder! Uh, you open it up, and... Uh... It's one of my previous party members. Mm. <laughs> Piece of him. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a pie guy offering us pie. Or if it's the undead version of the pie guy. <laughs> yeah, so these, the, the features of these uh, sarcophagus seem dark and terrible. Mm. Uh, you open it, and there's not, uh, there's a skeleton which falls out onto you. Roll it. If it does it fall like right on my back or on my front? Well, you opened it, right? So it falls onto you, onto your front. Um, and it's Dragonborn. <laughs> Is she pretty? Yeah, I was about to uh, run into... Help, help! It's coming onto me! Homie will step forward, see that these are animated bones, and just start laughing. <laughs> okay, clear. Another person's pain. Hey, now look. If it was actually animated and trying to attack you, I would help. But 
Those are just old bones. Whoever that is. Uh, they're like, going to throw them to the ground and stab each other with his sword to make sure they're dead. Oh, what the, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, tomorrow, kind of idiot. You he knows not what he does. Office, yeah, I'll put them back in the sarcophagus. At least everything I can recover. Okay, so you start stuffing the bones back into that sarcophagus. Meanwhile, what's Derelict's doing with the other sarcophagus? Well, uh, before he leaves the sarcophagus, he's going to go, see you later, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and just walk to our sarcophagus and do the same thing, put the sword on the sarcophagus. All right, it doesn't glow. He's going to open it up and uh, take a step back. You don't see anything. In fact, it seems like it's deeper than it should be. It goes into the wall. Like maybe it's gonna, a concealed door. I'm going to uh, wave to Hormir. He's like, hey, Hormir, uh, come check this out. Uh, Hormir well, can't well, hear you. He's still fut- futzing with the bones. You can just hear me like, shout over my shoulder. Just... Are you desecrating more dead over there? <laughs> okay. I need to get a catchphrase for this guy. What would be a good catchphrase? Okay, he's going to charge forward through the door, going, For Blood and Glory! All right. Uh, and charge him with his new sword. What's going on, guys? What you doing over here? Okay, so you hear distant echoes of Derelax, muffled echoes of Derelax as he now hidden behind the sarcophagus, which uh, he's entered. Hmm. Hey, Armir, what are you doing with the bones up there? I'm trying to let the dead rest, but everyone wants to just smash them up. I don't want to smash them up, but do they have any trinkets under out of their feet or anything? Any uh, gold that might be able to release them? Um, there is a treasure I, chest in front of you, there, Lex. To be fair, uh, outside the game, could you blame us for smashing every bone we see after all the crap we've been through? Oh, oh no, not at all. But Homia would be horrified by this. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a crisis of faith, you see. <laughs> Being Derelax, he's gonna run up and open the chest with big childlike eyes. Oh my god. You're gonna oh. run up to the chest? And get skewered on the wall behind it. Behind you. By a big coming out of it. Okay. Yeah, it'd be like the guy that left the whip uh, on uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Well, you remember that room you went in that had all the spears coming out of the walls? Same sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a, uh, you open this, you fling this open. There's a ring. There's a, and two, and two potions. Can I write that down? Um, I still badly want to take that bag of sand and switch them out for it right now. (laughs) (laughs) But I don't have one, so I can't do that. Um. Being Derelax and seeing what he's done previously with the last ring he found, he's going to put on the ring. Okay. And uh, kind of make it all blingy and so forth. Uh, get to two potions and uh, he's going to. Are you going to taste them? What? Are you going to taste the potions? Uh, yeah, I guess I will taste the potions, you know, do the finger thing and. One one tastes like it heals. The other tastes like uh, you'll have a good night's rest afterwards. Oh, um, it's Zequel. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, with the new stuff, uh, Derelax is gonna burst through the coffin door and uh, open it up and let off his cloak and be yelling and saying, "I have returned." Oh, oh, by the way, the ring looks like a. It has a. It looks like it, um, uh, what is it? Is it a bird on it? Mm. Possibly. I didn't see that. 
Ring of Talk with Birds. Yeah, it's a ring that has a uh, it has a bird on it, like a hummingbird. Hmm. But yeah, he burst through right in front of Muglug. Muglug's the like, a building going off. Saying I've returned, knowing Muglug, he's probably gonna whack him with his axe. He's startled. So, uh, um, Muglug, Muglug, I would figure you'd die early. And that's why you're in this coffin right now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so uh, it appears to be a potion of greater healing. You also appear to have a yeah. potion of vitality, which would be good uh, the for uh, vitality, Muglug. Remember what that does, and I think I gave one to Muglug. Yeah. Uh, but I'll yeah. give the potion of vitality to Muglug because he needs it most because he does get exhaustion from his abilities. Right. In the in the potion yep. of greater healing. Uh, I'm debating where to give it to Fro or Muglug because uh, they both could use it. I don't ever get damaged. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather and Muglug I get yeah. the, that potion too. And then that, that, or not. And that when you wear the ring, it makes you feel like you uh, can dodge and evade a lot better. Mm. Now that I might be interested in. But as you come charging out of the coven, I'm like, ah, they're dead, they've come to attack us. Paul is just burning incense and trying to seal the sarcophagus back up, just like, back to rest you, come on. Come on. Get back in there, and there's like bones getting stuck in the door of the sarcophagus. I'm just like kicking them in with my foot and trying to get the door shut on it. Timora is marking our tri- uh, trickery, I think. That's what I was saying. She's uh, twisting the reality to show that we've been here. Or maybe it's the God of the Dead. I don't know. <laughs> uh, before the uh, coffin shuts, the Derelict is going to hand over a because we are in technically in the Middle Eastern ancient times, he's gonna hand uh, the court the smoke. He's gonna what? Hand a corpse of smoke. Get tobacco. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I think they smoked in the, I think they smoked cigarettes in the Middle East back in the day. Mm-hmm. So what about the uh, ring? I have to look that up. Yeah, so uh, the ring seems to be a ring of evasion, so I'm going to tune to it, which I probably need it because I have such a low armor class for the front guy. Well, so what that does is it doesn't adjust your armor class. It allows you to uh, make uh, have advantage on dexterity saves. Yeah, that could be useful. Or, is it, or I think actually you automatically save, I think. Oh, okay. Charge. It has a charge and you auto-save. So I think it'd be much better for me to be in front now um, with that. Okay, so you're going to keep the ring? If you uh, keep the ring, yes. That's, you know, I... You know, the cleric could use that a lot. But... If Derelict, how selfish or nice Derelict is, which one went into his favor? What would you think? His selfishness or his niceness? I think he'd be nice enough to share it. Like, he shared the, he gave the other ring to Fro, right? Yeah, after uh, White said he's after the one the ring, so he handed the ring over to the next person. Or Mir there, he's a, he, he's not very dodgy. He could uh, use something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 actually, I figure Darlex will wear it for like a day or so, and then get bored of it and throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> that might actually be more like what he would do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to hold it for a uh, day and just uh, go and uh, toss it to uh, Hormir and go, here you go. Okay, so for now you're wearing it, or what are you doing? Yeah, are you showing now, it off, or are you just wearing I'm, it? I'm just wearing it, just, just uh, walking over very prestige-like and uh, just showing off my leg. Okay. So we start noticing little feathers sprouting out of your back and stuff, and... No, he, he acts, he's jumping around a lot. He acts like he's more like, you can't hit me. 
right? I figure he's he's like waving his arms a little bit and is sticking his nose out a little bit and clucking a little bit. Right, right. <laughs> you get where I'm going. I was like, hey, wait. Dragon to bird. Dinosaurs. <laughs> It'd be like that one dinosaur. Feathers and the scales. Wings. Well, Were there any more doors in here? Yeah. No. Oh, by the way, uh, when did you cast that Detect Evil and Good? Was that just now? Or uh, well, that was just after the long rest. So, 10-minute concentration is probably gone by now. Uh, I'm going to say you got something faint out of the back room where Derelax disappeared behind the uh, the sarcophagus. Something in here. Yeah, but then, uh, but then your spell wore off by the time Derelax came back out. Hmm. Uh, I think go Derek like is going to open uh, the door and show Homer the way in and uh, pull his sword from the chief. I'll move in, take a look around the room, see what I sense. Oh, Any you don't sense anything now. That, that or... spell has expired, so you don't sense anything now. Uh, I'll, I pull the sword, uh, uh, I'll uh, pull a sword from my chief. What do I... Uh, does it glow? No. All right. Right. Close it. So you're casting cast, it again? Yeah. Um, I don't trust this place. Uh, that ring that he's wearing gives off a dark vibe. Um, Darlax, you might not want to wear that. It doesn't feel right. And he's like, my precious man. Huh? And yeah, he looks at her and he just goes, Why, well, go with the outfit? No, I, I've got a feeling there's something not good about it. It's there's some dark force around that ring. Uh, I like to put the sword and tap the ring with the sword. Nothing. Nothing. Mm -mm. You know what? Um, the sword is attuned, right? Huh? Yeah, the sword is attuned, yeah. Okay, so I'll go, hey, bar, bar, more old buddy, buddy, pal, pal, bar. Uh, what do you know of this ring? It's uh, muted. I got the cold shoulder from my own sword. Do, do you want to maybe hand it to Hormir to let him examine it? Uh, yeah, but he would do it grudgingly. I won't hold it for long. I All just right. want it. I mean, he's going to be slowly trying to take it off. It's and... not coming off. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Darylax. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm, is that a bird feather I see sprouting out of your back there? Buck, 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 buck. Oh uh, boy! And I uh, look uh, with a worried uh, look at my face, and I try to look like I'm maintaining my composure. Um, and I go to home here and go. Uh, in all your knowledge, yeah. What does it mean if a ring doesn't come off? <laughs> it's generally not good. <laughs> it means your your knuckles swollen, right? Yeah. Shouldn't have had all that soup last night. is gonna sit down on the chest and pull out his spell book and start flicking through, but he doubts there's anything that's gonna help with this that he's got available. No, you need a uh, what is it, a remove curse or Yeah, which is level three, which I don't have. <laughs> Not till fifth level. <laughs> Which means until we're out of this freaking pyramid. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the worst time it could be. Yeah. Homie just sort of sits there with his hands in his head. Don't want to be the front man. <laughs> <laughs> head in his hands for a few minutes and thinks about it and focuses on the detect good and evil hey, and looks up at Darylax. My friend, I cannot do anything about this now. But. When I can, I will. 
So I poke my head in the sarcophagus and I look past over here and I look past Therox and I see the chest and I go, hey, is that a chest over there? Did you thoroughly search it? Therox did. And he's <laughs> an idiot. Did you thoroughly search it? Try again, and Hornia will stand up and get off the chest. Uh, this is gonna end bad, isn't it? Something undead just showed up, I think. Yeah. Or is that Hornia? That's Hornia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's me. You look undead, by the way. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, I can't inspire myself, can I? No, but there's nothing that you find here. No false bottoms or anything like that? Nope, that was it. Uh, do I notice anything strange about myself? Yeah, you actually are uh, anything but uh, more dexterous or agile. You are, <laughs> you are clumsy. Uh, you, Like I said, you have disadvantage on all your decks. Checks, deck saves, initiative rolls. Oh my god! <laughs> Darlax, why? No more putting on random magic items you find. Yeah, we put them in a pile and at the campsite in the middle of the night and we figure it out then. And... Yeah, no more putting on random magic items we find. And that goes for everyone. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> But this ring is attached to his finger, right? <laughs> no. Hobie <laughs> <laughs> just I'm looks not... at Darylax and sees this thought process going on. It's like, no, I cannot <laughs> move a finger back. <laughs> Bugwa pats, pats Dar Darylax on the shoulder and says, I think that ring looks awesome. Darylax, uh, make a nature check. All right. I'm like, uh, oh, or we already had a previous party with gone um, missing part of parts. We don't need another party gone missing part of parts. Oh, so you're you're under the mistaken belief that dragonborn are like a lizard, and that you can just regenerate a lost limb. <laughs> you really want me to do this, don't you? <laughs> and I, I I take my new sword. And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go and look at Homer. He's like, "It's it'll be fine. I can regenerate my limb." No, you can't. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it wasn't me. It was the dice roll. Don't blame the demon. <laughs> blame the dice roll. Blame the five <laughs> nature check. Muglug, Muglug, like, uh, be sure you should just take your whole hand off. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not gonna help. <laughs> This he can't got, solve this by chopping off body. Parts. He'll be a great weapon fighter with only one hand. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be able to get as much oomph out of your sword. Like the mountain, he can build a great sword with one hand, but it's just one hand. Mm -hmm. And that's in he'll be like Jamie Lancer makes with the mountain. You just you just um take some rope and attach the long sword to the stub of your arm. Yeah. <laughs> And then you hold your arm with the other hand, so now you're two-handed again. <laughs> this is perhaps the most yeah. gruesome conversation we've ever had in this stream. Don't encourage him. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see what other rates. All right, so is. what's next? Where are y'all heading to next? Now that you've got a clumsy uh, yeah. derelict. Well, I'm going to be staying extremely close to Darylax while the Detect Good and Evil is still going. Okay. I want to see if it's having any effect on him or if it's just the item. It's it's just the item. It's just a faint... It's just a faint bad vibe you get. You don't get a strong sense of evil from it. It's just like a... It's just, just like a bad smell. Prank. Oh. Yeah, it's like a prank instead of a full-on vendetta. Yeah. You know the worst part is? What's that? Darylax is probably going to do it again. Oh, yeah. Then once uh, this is going to come up again, and you're somehow going to put a cursed item on. So we've already established that this party is not necessarily... The brightest. 
<laughs> they are the luckiest, however. Thanks to Fred. <laughs> All we need to do is find another halfling who's at uh, the build. <laughs> Pro's, but, like, uh, Pro's like, they're lucky, but I'm not. I'm stuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're only lucky because Pro's here in the first place. <laughs> so, uh, Garelax uh, is going to go to this door and charge for. No, no, every, time, every time Mugluck goes to the other door, you head straight for the opposite. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. So the 30 feet. Just, oh, it twists. And, oh, oh, oh. Guys, what? We're waiting for your night. Oh, that's good. Maybe we go through this door. Oh, right. We took a long rest, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we the did daylight. Take long rest. Uh, let's do... So there is a door right over here, right? I'm trying to do this the normal way. Um, oh, yeah. no, there's oh, a wall over door. Here. That's what I see. Uh, well, he's going to hold his new sword up to the door. Wait, is it a door on this side? Oh, you're going I think to that so. door? Yeah, there's a yeah, door. That... Yeah, we're stacking up here, so... Okay. Looks like it's been lying to the door for a while now. I think okay. I see the door there. All I see is the dust. All right, so y'all go through that door. Well, willingly, I don't know, but we do go through the door. This... I don't know what's going on here. My mouse thing. seems to be... Trailing Muglug and his craziness. Muglug not crazy. Muglug just want to go kill things. Ah. And pictures. Oh, wait. Gotta get Muglug. You, you could say Muglug's barbaric. What's the Muglug barbaric? Thank your way. Ooh, uh, one more of those doors. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
uh, uh, taking a long rest. Mm. Um, and, uh... Starlax, Starlax, pee on them! I was actually thinking that. Have you ever seen what the Dervish can do? So you don't want to go peeing on the Dervish. One of them is wearing headgear <laughs> like he's their, uh, yeah, like he's a religious leader. But does he? Like, uh, what he will do is wait till everyone's out of the room, and he'll just do a creepy whisper of, "Oh my Ray, Oh my Ray." <laughs> Are you telling us to get out of the room then? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to tell everyone gets out of the room to do it and just slowly walk away. And seeing everyone else come out, hold me, it's going to turn and move his way down the corridor. You know what I just realized? We let that bandit stuck in that sarcophagus a while ago. Oh. I was about to. Yeah. Yeah, but he's probably so claustrophobic right now. Probably. Y'all going to the next room then? Y'all are leaving there yeah. alone? Yeah. Okay, so you go into this room and pay no attention to the little X on there. Uh, this one we see... Mm. A big X! Uh, this room looks like the room where y'all were... Uh, where y'all were uh, stuck, like in the garbage compactor scene. Mm. Oh, wow. that was freaky. Mm -hmm. So all we had to do is climb up the walls. Okay. <laughs> okay, this room y'all go into. Uh, you see. Um, Ooh, a couple of uh, a couple of cutthroat dwarves walk in, and then all of a sudden, uh, they you set up a trap. Price. And then you see these bendel these pendulums swing down and just rip right through them. Ooh. I told you it was Vincent Price. I'm, I'm so glad you got that reference. Was that like Pitt and the? Pendulum, yes. Sure, that's not Poe instead. Yes. Well, he's thinking yeah, the right. movie, I think. Yeah, right. Mm. No Any treasure chest. No, there's no, there's nothing in here. No treasure. What's the point of? Could could sir could sir? I have a question. Uh, is it possible to climb it up and down these uh, chains with pendulums on them? Not really, because they're kind of suspended from the domes above you, so. Okay, because I wanted to stab their bodies and make sure they don't rise as I'm dead. <laughs> I think they're perfectly fine. They've been split in two. Yeah. You, you could search them for magic items, though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, off to you. You jumped out. <laughs> well, I have bad decks now. <laughs> <laughs> but you still got good hit points, right? Darlax, you're not to touch any more magic items without permission. <laughs> we got any other doors along this hallway or anything? Do any investigations to see, I guess? Even though I'm not the best of investigating, it seems. Oh, that's a good investigation. Yeah, it is. Um... No, there's nothing else. Up and down the hallway? No, no, nothing else up and down this hallway. Okay. Even at the very end up here? Sorry, what? no. no. Okay. Any other doors that are noticed when we're, we're ransacking the rest of this place? No, just the one Actually, that Muglug's in front of right now. Uh, yeah, I was going to go to that door. I'm going to put my sword in front of the door. Just hold it up next to it and touch it with it and see it's a store close. Oh, yes, it does. And uh, and then I start talking to the sword at the risk of looking at crazy everyone. What kind of undead do you sense? 
It's like, what do I look like? A uh, X-ray machine? <laughs> That's an X-ray machine. No, a Ouija board. <laughs> Well, he's going to the other side of Muglug and this start all, clutching his holy symbol. This is all symbols. that Barethel tells you. He goes, hmm. Something in there. Hmm. This sword's a troll. That's the, hum. that's the hum that it gives. Yeah, I'm okay. kidding. Okay, I fell the party to run dead on the other side. Okay, so now y'all have gone in. Oh, All right, hold on. Let's see, because I'm having issues with my Mappy thingy. mouse thingy. I don't know. It's if called I'm... mouse. I might need to close and reopen Roll Twenty. So let's see. Hold on. Kind of see the room, right? What if I'm what yeah. I highlighted so far? Yeah, so there's some crazy. I don't know, masks or something on the floor, but. So these are all sarcophagus. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh. And uh, y'all haven't gone further into the room, but um, I'm going to start doing the sword trick on each sort of coffee guy. It's just glowing now. It's there's oh. no distinction. Continuous glow, yes. It's not. It doesn't tell you direction or all right highlight. It just lets you know that yes, they are under. They are undead within sixty feet of you. So, uh, Darylax is going to open each of the sarcophagi real quick and close them and go, Treasure? No. Treasure? No. Treasure? No. The second he does the first one, Hormi is just going to put a hand on his shoulder and just say, let the dead rest. We don't disturb them. They won't disturb us. Did uh, Fro already uh, roll for initiative? Uh, I guess I did. And then remember, oh, wow. Derelax, you have disadvantage. Advantage. Oh, wait, this is initiative? It is now, as soon as he opens the first sarcophagus. Oh. I have to get you lot on raids. <laughs> so this is a huge room. Giant block of black stone sits in the center of the room. It is covered with upright sarcophagi. Faces that were carved into the coffin lids have been gouged out by deep claw marks. Um. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. Does uh, Parallax's disadvantage initiative count as a one? The rolled one? Uh, yeah, yeah a disadvantage because of the magic ring I put on. Yeah, but it's a one. Yeah, that was my second roll. He's saying, can he, uh, can he, uh, yeah, that's fine. Halfling luck it. Can he halfling luck it? Yeah, you can. Oh, are you 
I'm right at the front sarcophagus. The first one. Down here. Yeah, it's not within 30 feet. Oh. <laughs> hey, what is the I dynamic know what's lighting? going on. Uh, dynamic lighting is super weird. From what I've seen, it takes a lot of effort to get it right. Oh, okay. It's like where it will do cones of vision for each of the players. Uh, and you have a, a full version of role playing? So today is the last day that we get access to uh, because this is Roll20 Con or something like that. Okay. Okay. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is so bad because I, I now get what those sarcophagus are. Sarcophagi are. And oh well. they're freaking uh, doors to that room. Yeah, so I just went, let him out. So you went and you flung open all four of these doors, I guess? <laughs> oh, just the first one before uh, one mayor tries to stop me. And and the first one, one I'm at. So, Hormir, what did you do to stop him? Uh, I put my hand on the shoulder and tried to pull him back before he opened it, but I was too late. Yeah, that's not so. That was the first. So then he. So you didn't stop you, your dear Lex. So you went and opened all of them. Breathe, so what can I breathe? I think. Uh... Um, usually, uh, I'm going to die in these scenarios, but this is the first time I actually think we're going to have a TBK. Nah, but good. Nah, nah, yeah. It's going to happen. <laughs> He's just laughing in action. <laughs> Alrighty, so Hormir, you're up. Turn on that wisdom saving throw for everyone. Alright, so... Uh, DC 13. Okay. So the guy in front of Muglug fails. He's going to run this way. Oh, one in the hallway. <laughs> this guy, do they have to see you, right? Yeah, they have to be able to see him here. Okay. So uh, did you get him, Muglug? Is it it? What's the damage? Ten points damage. Oh, eight. Sorry, eight. I'm not raging yet. So what is that? Just eight? Just eight. Okay, and then Fro, are you going to try to take a swing at him? Do I get to? Sure. A move for you. Area. Okay. Uh, find my drop. Danny DeVito, is that what it was? Fourteen. Uh, that'll hit. Nine points. Okay. I would have laughed if that I had actually dropped them. <laughs> uh, okay. So the next one was this was this guy right here. So that's wisdom you save save right. Yeah, if wisdom save DC 13. All right, he's going to take off running. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Looks like he killed. Yeah. This, this guy right here in front of you, Hormir. That's a failure. I'll hit it with my mace as it runs away then. Okay. That's a 12 to hit. Will hit. For three damage. Okay, this guy is going, I guess, this way. Oh, wait, he's got to save. 
that we built. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And uh, that's it. Well, if the two in the middle room can hear me, they're still affected. It's either see or hear within 30 feet. Okay. So let's uh, see what they do. Is that a save? Uh, yeah, just makes it. All right, and then this guy does not save. So he's going in the corner, and what is he doing? Dodging, I guess? Uh, if he can't move any further, he can dash or take the dodge action. Okay. If dashing doesn't get him away from me, then he can take the dodge. Okay. So on his turn, he'll take the dodge action. Muglug! Oh, wait. Uh, I was going to say bonus action, spiritual weapon. Okay. Uh, I'll just uh, do... That's a shape, not a... Okay. My beautifully drawn mace. Awesome. And spells. Uh, that's a nine to hit, so no. Okay. And that's my go now. All right, now it's my blood. Go and kill these things. Go and smash them. Smash them with a smash later. I was going to say, dog smash. Squisher. Mm -hmm. That's a good door. One That'll hit. I forgot the man, John. Yeah. Oh, we're all with that, yeah. Might have got crit. You never know. Uh, seven point damage. On this one, right? Yep. And that's it. All right. Fro, you're up. Mug, look, come and save me. Please, please save me from these foul smelling beasts. And why are you doing that? I'll oh, try to help you take them out too. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. So, we want to do Saber. We are attacking the one that was there. Second one. I think it's this one here. It's that one. No, I want to attack this one. The one that's not, that's still turned? Is it still turned? Yeah, he's running away still. Uh, the other one, uh, the other one got hit though, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, if it's he's still turned, then I can take a step back towards my right? Move uh, there. Yeah. They can't take reactions, so yeah. And then yeah, I guess that point of view would be on the one that's on my blood. Okay, so five slashing. Right. Okay. Ghoul's turn. One ghoul has taken the dodge action. He's in the corner. I don't know what the dodge action looks like. He looks like Neo. Uh, it's disadvantage on all attacks coming in, I believe. Yeah. So... I like to think he's just balled up in the corner. Mm -hmm. He's taking the turtle action. Turtle, <laughs> turtle. Yeah, I don't see a anything that strikes out that looks like dodging. But what do I know? Uh, Let's just do that. Okay, here. the other guy is moving another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This guy is moving 5, 10, 30. Um, I think everybody else was not turned. Uh, they were. They took hits. I think so. Yeah. So, oh, actually, the one next to my spiritual weapon was still turned because he didn't take a hit. Oh, he was still turned. Yeah, he's the only one that didn't take a hit. But he saved when he was doing the saving throw. That's the thing. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did save. Oh, yeah. Okay, then he can move closer. 
Alright. So he's gonna go there. And uh, he'll go for... Um... Probably Derelix, because he's got more Minos bones. Yeah, let's just go that. One, two is Warmer. I guess it's one of those intelligence tricks. Derelix. <laughs> Derelix takes five slashing. Yeah, oh. Constitution throw. At least it's not a deck, so throw. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And you're a fighter, even better. Show them what the fighters are made All of. All right, so uh, how much slashing did you say was? Five, five points. Did Glad you I got a. Yeah, you're saying you're going to. Let's see if you're going to. Okay. Okay. Some stronger stuff than that in the bar. So the go this ghoul is going after Muglug? He has advantage. Oh, oh, advantage? Okay, let's do it one more time. Mm -hmm. It's six points of slashing. Awesome. Uh, and you got to take a constitution save. Constitution. Constitution 24. Yeah. All right. Okay, Fro, this one's going after you. Mm. You think you are, but I'm a dodgy little halfling to get away from you. Alrighty. And. We conveniently lined up. For nice I think area. that's it for them. They're relaxed. Uh, read the whirlwind, my friend. Read the whirlwind. Yeah, Derelix is gonna swing uh, his new sword two handed at uh, the uh, I'm assuming these are ghouls, they are ghouls, yes. No, that's just Have you counted, yeah, we've encountered them before. And swing the sword, and uh, but because he knows it hates uh, undead, you're gonna call on it as you swing it, call it, yeah. Name. So that's a hit. Cool. Have you got it set up with the right damage combos, or what? actually, probably. So now roll yeah. a 1d8. I guess roll a 1d8. Nice. So 19. 19. Points. All right. That, that ghoul is now staggering. Poor mirror. All right. Uh, I'm gonna smack this one next to me with my mace. Hopefully. Nope. Whoa. So you're gonna miss. But you got a weapon. Yeah, I'll bring the spiritual weapon out and slap it with that. 14. That's a hit. So that's uh, nine points of force damage. Yeah, that. that smacks it into oblivion. E. And that's my go. You gonna Can't move? Do my um actually yeah, I'll move five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five. Is that thirty there or is there a wall in the way? It's hard to tell. Uh quick question. And so, I hate to be this guy, but uh does he have any idea what's going on beyond that door? And w thus moving that direction. Well, I would yeah, have seen the, run yeah, that way. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Yeah. You saw the. When I turned on the bed, that. I would have seen them all pile out that doorway. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'll move up to the doorway because I don't think I can get through it. Okay. 
Muglug, you're up. Muglug, smash. Smash hard. Does a 17 hit? Yes. Nine points of damage. That destroys. Cool. That cool. Muglug, smash. Does a 15 hit? Yes. Nine more points of damage. That one gets destroyed. Muglug, yeah. look for more guys to kill. Uh, you've got uh, movement. Uh, he is uh, six. Um, where's my ruler? Muglug, go after the guy that ran away down the hallway. Do, which one? Okay. He's right here. Huh. But that's all. To, that's I was right. about to move him off the screen, but yes. Okay. Bro. Okay. So. Hmm. Look, wait. Your story's not over yet. Oh, no. There's a ghoul. Yeah. You only hear him yeah, yell down now. All dare like share sheds a single tear going. He's never said that to me once. <laughs> Seven points of piercing. Right. Okay. Hmm? Ghoul's turn. He's going after Muglug. No. Does he have advantage? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's uh -oh. nine slashing and a constitution save. Uh oh, this is a part where everyone just uh, just cringes because he just seven. That's a failure. You are now paralyzed. But you do have an inspiration, remember? I do. Um, was the inspiration give me one d six? Yeah, one d six. 50-50. Yeah, I'll roll it. It's 50-50. Boom. Oh, that brings you over the top, right? It does. All right. All right, so that was one. Yeah. Uh, I believe the other two are turned on. Yeah, I think. Yeah, they did turn. Um... So he's cowering in the corner, the other one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's over here cowering in the corner. And this one's cowering in the corner still, I think. Yeah. So they're both dodging. All right. Does that conclude their turn? Yeah. Derelax is going to open the sarcophagus. Charge Muglug. in. Muglug shouts down the hall, Derelax, I believe in you! <laughs> Your story's not over yet either. <laughs> and then he gets paralyzed. <laughs> and he's going to walk up and, uh, and uh, charge up and swing his new sword at the uh, bar. At the uh, uh the murder, but it's at disadvantage, right? Because he got it, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. So I'll just click it twice. Of course, there's no parlay with fools. <laughs> That's a miss. All right, well, uh, disadvantage because oh, okay. uh, he's dodging. Yeah, he, oh, he wasn't hit though. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Bonus action. Move the spiritual weapon over here and take two swings. Well, take a swing at the dude in the corner. 16 to hit. Will hit. For uh, nine force damage. Okay. 
right, no. he's no longer turned. He's no longer turned. <laughs> and then I'm going to spin around the corner and uh, guiding bolt. Ooh. 16 to hit. That'll hit. That was the uh, was first level because I didn't say different. So that's 15 radiant. Okay. And next attack on it has advantage. Okay. On this guy here. Yep. And that's my goal. So guys, when we say focus your fire, we don't mean divide and conquer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my luck. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, squish. Squish hard. What's that add up to? 14. He's still standing. Oh, that's... Nice. Muglug, squish! Yeah, oh, no, my... Yeah, you're all 20. 13? Yeah, he's dead. Now he's squished. <laughs> and Rose traumatized from the side of this. <laughs> <laughs> Just this brutal beating on the school. <laughs> I don't want to form your former party members. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right, Fro. So I'm like, hey, wait, I'm like, oh, don't believe me. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming to sing your praises. That's all I'm doing for now. I thought you were traumatized. I'm coming to criticize you then. <laughs> Maybe a little more of a left hook than the next swing instead of so much right. <laughs> Alright, so okay. so nothing, bro? I guess. Is this my book damaged? No. Nope. Yeah, I'm done. Well, I am I a little damaged somewhat. Yeah, I could dodge, I guess, yeah. Alright. Like... The ghoul. All right, so they're no longer dodging now. So let's take that off. Or maybe it's a ghoul charge. One ghoul's going after Derelax. Six slashing. Make a constitution save. Show us what you're made of. Uh oh. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, no. You are now paralyzed. So close. I was so close. I was so close. And uh, six slashing. Just close enough for me to attack you, but miss. It was just yeah. out of reach. Just out of reach, you see. Just bounces off the shield. It's like, nope. <laughs> yeah. I also noticed that Muglug has the most glorious battles and fights and Derelax continuously embarrasses himself. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's he's all honest. in the great tale. The great tale of Ro. It's a, It's all about a. Uh, it's all about it's deception, ice. right? You you draw the attention so that way, Mugla can do all the dirty work, right? No, no, it's all about the spice. Remember? It's all intention. Derelax is the worm. Slow. Yeah. Is Derelax is the worm on the hook. Right. <laughs> and Mugluck is Mwadi riding him. Who's <laughs> goes it now? I think it is... Uh, back to the top. Derelax's yeah, turn. Derelax's turn, which... Uh, does you're this, paralyzed. Uh, saving, yeah, does the saving throw at the end of my turn or the beginning of the at turn? At the end. End of your turn. Okay, just making sure. Mm -hmm. So, Constitution save? Yep. All right. Oh, nice. All right, so you are saved now. But that was your turn. All right, All right Hormir. Oh, it's my go? Yep. All right, this one in front of me, I have advantage on because of the guiding bolt. So, right. mace to the face. 
<laughs> a seven and a ten. Wow. That's, that's the a, ten hit. Oh, no. So you just like the patches on the head. You go be uh, well, my son. The thing is, I have to be able to see the spiritual weapon to use it, so I'd have to move to here to be able to attack with it. Ah, screw it. I'll take the attack of opportunity. Uh, just hits. Oh, nice. Six slashing and a constitution save. Uh, crit 20. Oh. All right. Nope. And then spiritual weapons gonna slap the one next to Darylax. All right. For a whopping knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Twenty, roll twenty, gets sticking his teeth, man. Ah, uh, that's my go. I got nothing else. Mug luck. Yes. Do you not get crits on spiritual weapon? Uh, the spiritual weapon didn't crit. It was yeah. the con save oh, I crit. Yeah, yeah. Spiritual weapon rolled a nine. <laughs> yeah. It was a swing and a whiff. Bug lug. Squish! Daryl Ag will suffer the most. That's a hit. 14 hit? That hits. Nine points? Squishes. Glad I didn't see What's, that. What's, um, ten feet? Mm -hmm. Got a cleric in your way. I have to open another sarcophagus. You can, yeah, that's twenty-five feet, I think, to get to that. Oh, yeah, you can still get there. Were you already standing? I was standing yeah. here to start with, right? Um, here's a question, though. Does Muglug know that the ghoul's in there? I figure I hear him fighting. Yeah. yeah, I think you know he's in there, but I don't think you can make it all the way. I think you can just get think up so? to... I think also, you got to remember... Because you got to go through the sarcophagus, right? So it's not the, the diagonal. Right. And the sarcophagus hasn't been opened yet, so that's a little bit more... No, that one's open. Correct. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I take it back. You can open that one, but that's an action. Yeah. Mm. Because I think you can barely, I think you can barely get to like right there. Okay. Mungo's behind him, Alex. I'm like, I will save you, Darylex. Mungo will save you. Plus two. Oh, okay, three. Hey. I think hey, you're pulling guys. on his tail, and you're saying, "I got dibs." I got dibs on. Danny DeVito, show us your work. Well, of course that's what I mean. Uh, I missed wildly. That's a miss. Yeah. Um, I'm like, I turn back from Jeez, like... nothing can stop this thing from attacking me. Oh, but I will do it and inspire my good friend, Darylax. Darylax is just having a vision of his life before his eyes and going... Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> That's a miss. Mm. Wow. I am lucky. Um, Dalex is going to swing his new sword, uh, Bart, Bart Ethel? Mm -hmm. No, no, Fairlax. <laughs> That's a hit. Uh, 13? That's a hit. Yes. 14 plus a D8. 16 damage. You throw the that destroys. That destroys the ghoul completely. Okay. Quick, yeah, it's, like it, it's, like and it turns, I, it's like it turns uh, turn around with mug, And I turn around with Smug Lug and uh, Mug Lug and go, What kept you? I killed one. How many did you kill today? <laughs> And the and the and the the sword the sword stops stops glowing and the hum stops. Hmm. Mug hum. smash. Bro, search. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can find a way out and see if there's another sarcophagus on the other side or something. No, they're all sarcophaguses all around. So right. just wraps around on so the other side. There is nothing but the ghouls in this room. That's right. All right. And the guy. <clears throat> Where did Dick Back McGee went? go? There was another uh, ghoul around here. We killed them. We came around the back. Yeah, they, yeah, they got no, him. They one of them went this way, didn't it? Yeah, and that was the one that came around and you got him over here. Oh, okay. He ran he, all he wrapped around. around yeah. Oh, okay. I think we're finally done this level. Yeah, except y'all didn't find the way out. Uh, no, we did. Levitating at the altar in the garden areas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We got a door, I think, over here or something. Where? Or something. Never trust the guy who says, hey, there's a door over here, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe we're missing something? I don't know. It's sometimes hard to tell with the walls because they go different widths or whatever. Uh, yeah. Down the wall. Yeah. I don't think y'all are missing anything. There's like a secret door, but it's just a shortcut from one map to the other. Okay. Okay. So... So as we go back into the Garden of Eden... Uh, we, uh, uh, Darylax is just scratching his head and just going, Guys, I don't think we have a way out of here. The altar seemed to be a way up and out, from what I understand. Yeah, it's up. Muglug takes a drink from the water. Darylax, okay. uh, points up and goes, Uh, from what I've read, we have to get to the top. How do we get to the top? Go ahead and roll 1d10. Roll the 1d10? I'm saying right. uh, Muglug because he uh, is drinking from oh. the water. And you've reduced the level of exhaustion. Yep. I drink from the water just because, but I'm not down. That's how many hit points you heal? <laughs> oh, <Ooh>, yay. <laughs> You're like yeah. these uh, uh, cannonball into the water. Uh, you're going to get washed away. Oh. <laughs> we could do a short rest and use a hit dice, and I can sing the, uh, the great song of Mug Lug. <laughs> I'm only I'm down almost ready to get swept away by the water. <laughs> Darn like, <it's>, no. <laughs> <laughs> chasing him around the Like, he like he uh like he I like the thing he says I can sing his songs of mug lug and he just tries to force himself in and you guys are just back. No 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 But yeah we sure we could use the short rest to like recover Bardic inspirations and uh, use the song of rest and reuse it dice. Yeah, that. we really need to figure out how to get up. You go to the altar there with the little handprints on it, and you say the phrases. Do you remember? And then oh. it you up. But now I've got to find my notes because I can't remember what the phrases were. Leviosa. I think it was something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'll just assume that y'all got it figured out. All right. Um. So let's. If Aaron was a really mean DM, he would force us to recall things. That minute in detail, but I'm sure our characters will wrote it down instead of our but the players. I like to think uh, that being the characters that Muglug and Derelix are, they tattooed it on themselves so they can remember. Oh yeah, yeah, they squeeze some of that uh, tropical fruit juice to make a you know, tattoo when they starting to wear away after so many rests. But are we going to take a short rest first to regain anything? Uh, I think we should take a short rest at least. Yeah. More of that. My spells are good. My bardic inspirations came back. I don't have anything else to worry about, but you know, like, people can use hit dice and I can do it. I can manage with the spells I've got, but I could do it quickly rolling a hit dice. Yeah, I can do uh, If anyone does do a uh, hit die, then I can throw a d6 on it. 
Wait, why is my hit dice? Mm-hmm. I didn't write it down. <laughs> it's clever. Six points for anyone who does uh, uses a hit die to regain hit points. Oh, right. Short, oh, uh, uh, short rise, hit dice. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, I got... How much did I heal? Oh, come on! Oh, we have grand total nine. Unless you well, use actually filled me up, so. Oh, what the heck? I'll use another. Because this come back pretty quickly, too. So. Remember, you got the six from the roll, Song of Rest, or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, the six from the Song of Rest was enough, but I had to roll a hit dice to get it. Right. Mm-hmm. But hit dice recover quickly, too, when you take a long rest, so. Yeah. Yeah. Not a super big deal, but. <sighs> If time was of the essence, the short rest would be preferred over the long rest in terms of trying to get the stuff back. So, y'all have yeah, made I've... it out of the halls of the upper priesthood into the next level of the pyramid. Level up! No. No level up. <laughs> no. What? You don't level up again till the, level, till the adventure's over, man. No, no, yeah, right level, 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 like, level, 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 until we're out of the pyramid, we're not leveling up, and it's a huge freaking pyramid. <laughs> it's like, I, I saw some of the maps, uh, or a glimpse of them, they're from what Aaron showed me, it's like freaking Sunless Citadel. It's going to take a while. Right. Well, how do you say, uh, yeah, we should be leveling up more, eh? but, but... But we get magic items. That's our level ups. You got a funky magic sword now. You got a wonderful new ring. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lovely new ring. <laughs> Wait, these are the same waters from before, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're up top and you're seeing the water coming out of the lion's head pouring down into the river below. You're on this mm. ledge that's around the ring of the. The, the altars, yeah. Oh, uh, what happens when I stick my finger with the ring on it in the water? Your your ring and your finger get wet. Okay. So it doesn't need to do anything about that. Okay. No. They're putting a lot of stock in this water. Oh, hey. I'm not floating in the middle of the air. I don't know why I think that it would work. Maybe Are those tablets on either side? <laughs> so, um, are we at a good stopping point, I guess? It's 10.30 in the evening. I'd say so. And yeah, yeah, I think so. We've cleared this level, and we we've made progress. So whoever does a recap next time, tell us how the race, I know I'm volunteering myself, but how the race nearly TBK'd us. How we break time. But poor Bugluck, poor Derelax, they got knocked but, in. Yeah, but I got him again. We did charge in through the door at first. We. I still had healing spells we. left. You're yeah, fine. We. All right. I, I got notes here. We killed some rats. They almost killed Derelax. <laughs> almost killed Bugluck, too. I remember. <laughs> I don't remember that. I'll try and actually keep these notes somewhere <laughs> with it available for the next session. Is this that, like one of the selective histories that's written by the winners? No, no, Joey, I'll tell you, the entire fight, I was at full hit point. <laughs> yeah, I never went down at this point. It just varied over time, right? <laughs> I, will, I only had seven hit points, but I was at full. Right. <laughs> I was at full hit points the entire session until that last ghoul hit on me. All right, so any announcements, guys? Because I don't have anything that I can definitively say because next week is 50-50 for me, whether I can yeah. So, um... I want to create a kind of skeleton schedule to say what's going on which weekend, whether we're doing... Yeah, um, something uh, like next weekend's up in the air. Um, next weekend's up in the uh, air. The weekend after that, I think we're good. The 8th? Uh, the 8th? Oh, right, because... Well, it's 4th of July. In next weekend or this the weekend after? It's in the middle of the week. It's the middle uh, of the week. 
So it's Fourth right. of July Wednesday. All right. Yeah. So. Um, uh, yeah, so I guess we're 50-50 for next week. We'll, we may do Forges of Fury. We may do Dragonlance. We don't know. Right. Yeah. Uh, might not what, show. what I'm suggesting is, like, if we know Aaron's going to be gone three weekends in July or whatever, maybe if we have this web page for the whole simulcast or whatever, having a note on there or something so people will know what's going on. Right. Yeah. Um, well. yeah um uh, so next weekend is fifty fifty. Uh, I think we're all good for the weekend after. We are. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so so here's the question. So the eighth will do. Uh, well, the eighth will be the continuation of Pharaoh for sure. And uh, right. it's up to y'all. Uh, what y'all want to do on the first? If I can't run Pharaoh on the first, that's a definite. You can't run. Is it really the first is uh, next Sunday? Yep. Yep. The year is flying by. Yep. Well, if we can't do Pharaoh or something like scheduled next week, I could run a one shot. Yeah. 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 Characters to use part. yeah. And how to get them loaded and then which platform and stuff. We could try to do the. This is our trial. Let's see how Discord works instead of Roll20. But. Yeah. Or familiar with that system, and you can show us how it works. Yeah. Well, the problem uh, with that is uh, my problem is can't bandwidth. do the band- mm-hmm. bandwidth. Yeah, and the uh, computer doesn't have good internet. Yeah, so I definitely, I'm probably most definitely won't be able to play the 15th or the 22nd. All right. Um, so is- I should say definitely the 15th. Very unlikely on the 22nd. So, um, so yeah. So, but that doesn't mean that, that for the for the viewers, that doesn't mean that there may not necessarily be something, right? We might still have something that you guys might be yeah. able to still stream those times. We could have another crazy yeah. night of tabletop simulator in action. <laughs> sure, you know I've got some uh, homebrew campaign stuff I'm working on, so I can throw up a one shot in that. I could, uh, if you guys are really interested, I don't know how we're going to do on roll 20, though, but I could run Cloud Giant's Bargain if you guys make tier two characters. Uh, sure. I've got tier two characters already made. <laughs> I just have to get them uh, digitized. Uh, what's tier two, like level eight and above? Five eight to 12. Five to 10. Five, uh, five, five to 10. ten. ten. Yeah, but I've got like a level eight monk I could bring. Because uh, Cloud Giant's Bargain, I have the hard copy, um, uh, but it is an amazing module. It's really fun. It's linked to Acquisitions Incorporated, so it's really fun. Oh, nice. I do have a Lost Minds of Fandel for on Roll20, if you guys haven't done that. Yes, but that's still starting characters. So yeah, I think that's a long yeah, for a one shot, though. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying we could just run however much of it we get through. We also do eventually have to get back to the Dragonlance campaign at some point. Yes. Well, there's lots of stuff in the docket. It's just scheduling them and figuring out who wants to do so, what. So maybe if... Uh, yeah, our, maybe, and, uh, maybe that's also a suggestion for some of the viewers, right? They can leave a comment in your YouTube video channel? Right. They can. You guys can leave a comment uh, what you want to see and... Um, uh, because uh, we're, we really apologize for not letting you know, but uh, this past few weeks have been a mess for everybody. So, yeah, because things came up. So let me go ahead and end the stream now. So everybody say bye. 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 bye.